I'm telling you, it's interesting that you came in as we were having our worst moment, if you like, since the 2009 recession. Because today, I don't know if you have heard the news, uh, our statistician general announcing that the country is in a technical recession. So my first question to you is, does that make you change your mind in terms of whether you still want to look at South Africa or perhaps, oh, is someone calling you and telling me on TV? <laughs> Let me begin with you, Julian. Does that make you change your mind and think perhaps maybe we ought to look elsewhere because this place may not grow for a while? Frankly, we believe South Africa is a diamond and we still believe that there is a lot to be done to help with the previously disadvantaged. And so we don't think that things are going to change drastically enough for us to not move forward. So simply we will not change our minds. The same for you, John? Absolutely, I think it's an opportunity. Um, I don't. You probably think, well, gee, this is terrible. We think yeah. there's an opportunity to do no, some things. No, everybody's gloomy. I mean, yeah. the rand is down 3%, so but we are absolutely worried. Yeah, this is your closing bell, that, but we're closing on the fund, and we think there's an opportunity over here, and so we're trying to see how we can be cooperative, how we can strategically sure. partner. Julius is the one whose vision, he's been here for many, many, many years, and he's right. gotten me to come out of retirement and work with him. Right. What convinced you to join him? What did he say? I like his enthusiasm in, in the United States and in Miami. He's done some wonderful things uh, with the uh, faith-based community, with the local community. Uh, he's starting a Reg A uh, Securities and Exchange Commission special uh, project where we're raising a large sum of money that we're about to close on, and we're trying to cover the diaspora. But we think that we can probably prove the concept yeah. with some businesses here and scale them yeah. and be almost pan-African right. in, in, in a way. Before we widen the conversation to Africa, mm -hmm. uh, Julieta, I wanted to understand from your perspective which sectors you think are offering the greatest opportunity. Frankly, Congo DRC, Namibia, and right. South Africa. At those the are moment. the countries that you're going to? Yes, that's right. And in terms of sectors within those different economies? I'm sorry? In terms of the sectors? Sectors in those economies? Yes. Uh, one generally business where there are opportunities for broad-based ownership yeah. is where we're focusing. However, specifically, housing is one of the areas that we think, uh, especially affordable housing, that we think is very attractive. Uh, we've been in the affordable housing business for about 35 years, and we believe that we can bring something to the table on this side that we've learned uh, in the U.S. to help provide housing to the people who can least afford it, but need it nevertheless. Absolutely. And uh, John said that you are raising funds for a fund to come and invest into this continent, right? Correct. I want to know if you are able to tell me what your target is, and I want to know how difficult a sell that has been, or we flip it and say, how easy has it been? Well, the opportunity to go through the Securities Exchange Commission uh, as one who buys into Marcus Garvey's strategies, we think was awesome for us. And so we cleared the hurdles at the Securities Exchange Commission last month, and so we're now in the middle of the race. Okay. We've had people who were looking to help us get to where we are now and eager to capitalize on the fact that we've gone through the proper processes yeah. so that everything is legal. So we don't believe that there is going to be a lot of difficulty. We're raising $25 million in yeah. the initial fund. Right. And, and frankly, we think it's going to be relatively uh, well received. Yeah. I won't talk to you about the land and uh, those other questions. I think we can reserve that discussion for another day. I wanted to know from John. So you guys are looking at Namibia, South Africa, DRC. The last one, DRC, if you ask us, the natives of the continent. You guys came from here sometime before and now you went and now you're coming back, that's okay. If you ask us, we say, that place is too big. That place is vast, almost chaotic. Have you been there? What have you seen? What are you looking at? Well, Julius was just there the last two weeks, so okay. he's probably best suited to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and simply, okay. I've been involved in the DRC since 1985. Ah? And so it's not one of those things that I'm turned off uh, about, I know that there are challenges, but as long as you are focused on the things that you can do and not focused on the things that are more difficult, then yeah. simply I think it's a good place to be. Mm -hmm. I recall being on a plane 
uh, just after things stabilized uh, from here going up to DRC, somewhere around 2008, 2007. Yeah. And there were people who didn't look like me on the plane loaded. <laughs> and so uh, three or four of the people asked me, what was I doing going up there? And I'm saying, I'm going for a, a business meeting. Well, because of the way they asked the question, I thought yeah. there must be something going on that I don't know about. Well, nevertheless, there were people then going to Congo DRC, there yeah. are still people, if you get on the plane yeah. tonight, you'll see that there's a lot of people. Absolutely. Many of them don't look like us, but they're going to DRC. <laughs> so I just say that there's an opportunity for us to capitalize on helping the previously disadvantaged sure. in, the, in the DRC just as other places. Absolutely. John, very quickly, who are you meeting? Well, here, Yes. Uh, well, we're meeting uh, people in housing, looking at some of the opportunities they're looking at. We understand that <coughs> Housing is fine, but there's some opportunities for uh, us to uh, bring in some less expensive housing so it'll be more affordable. Right. People who can now f afford housing, but uh, they get money for a car easier than for the housing. That's true. So we want to try to- They're forced to pay it over five years instead of the house, which you pay over 20, 20 years. years. So yeah. we want to try to change that paradigm a little bit. We want to see if we can just move the needle a little bit. And all we're doing, we're just breaking uh, basic business models and yeah. learn up at Harvard and see if they really work. So your question about DRC, we just really want to prove a concept in a small way in, in health and, and, and housing and some other areas. And if we can do that, then we hope that we can scale it. So yeah. that's the big challenge for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Gentlemen, thank you for coming. I just wanted to remind yes. you that the president is looking for 1.2 trillion rand. I don't know what that amount is in dollars after what the run did today, uh -huh. but the previous target was $100 billion. Thank you for trying to help and make up the numbers. M may Thank I just you. say quickly that we are here on the 12th and 13th of October again for the Marketplace Calling International Conference. So right. we'll be at the Santa Convention Center, right. and we're hopeful that a lot of people will have the opportunity to come. We're hoping that someone was listening to you 